you want to follow along in the Book of Common Prayer, we will be beginning on page 115. But everything that you need to worship with us this evening is on your screen. There will be a time of special prayers after the service that I will invite you to add your own prayers to those of mine and those of all of us who are worshiping this evening. If you want to participate and light a candle in your honor, please add your prayer to the comments below. And now, if you have a candle somewhere in your house or near you, I invite you to light it as a reminder of God's presence. Yours is the day, O God, yours also the night. You established the moon and the sun. You fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart, we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness. By the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you eternal life. Amen. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O, o Lord, Lord, make haste to help us. us. Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. Be forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Let us together pray the Fosca Laron. O gracious light, pure the brightness of the ever-living ever Father in heaven, heaven. O, o Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our psalm this evening is a portion of Psalm 119. Which are the verses, Bethany? Uh, 25 through 48. 25 through 48. We will pray Psalm 119 together. My soul cleaves to the dust. Give me life according to your word. I have confessed my ways, and you answered me. Instruct me in your statutes. Make me understand the way of your commandments that I may meditate on your marvelous works. My soul melts away for sorrow. Strengthen me according to your word. Take from me the way of lying. Let me find grace through your law. I have chosen the way of faithfulness. I have set your judgments before me. Hold fast your decrees. O Lord, let me not be put to shame. I will run the way of your commandments, for you have set my heart at liberty. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I shall keep it to the end. Give, Give me understanding, and I shall keep your law. I shall keep it with all my heart. Make me go in the path of your commandments, for that is my desire. Incline my heart to your decrees, and not to unjust gain. Keep my eyes from watching what is worthless. Give me life in your ways. Fulfill your promise to your servant, which you make to those who fear you. Turn away the reproach which I dread, because your judgments are good. Behold, I long for your commandments, and your righteousness preserve my life. Let your loving kindness come to me, O Lord, and your salvation according to your promise. Then shall I have a word for those who taunt me, because I trust in your words. Do not take the word of truth out of my mouth, for my hope is in your judgments. I shall continue to keep your law. I shall keep, keep it forever, forever and ever. I walk, will walk with liberty because I study your commandments. I will tell, tell of your decrees, decrees before kings 
and will not, and be, will not ashamed. be ashamed. I delight in your commandments, which I have always loved. I will lift, lift up my hands, hands to your commandments, commandments, and I will meditate, meditate on, on your statutes. statutes. Glory to, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Our reading for this evening's service comes from Matthew's Gospel. Which, uh, which chapter and verse, Bethany? Chapter 25, verses 31 through 46. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate people one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will put the sheep at his right hand and the goats at the left. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, you that are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you took care of me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and we gave you food? Or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you? Or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these, who are members of my family, you did it to me. And then he will say to those at his left hand, You that are accursed, depart from me into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me. Naked, and you did not give me clothing. Sick, in prison, and you did not visit me. And they will also answer, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry, or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not take care of you. Then he will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us together say the song of Simeon, which is found on page 118 of your Book of Common Prayer. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let, Let your, your people, people sing with joy. 
Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for For only in you you can we live live in safety. safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your Your saving saving health health among among all nations. nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the the hope hope of the the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and and sustain sustain us with your Holy Holy Spirit. Spirit. O Lord, mercifully receive the prayers of your people who call upon you, and grant that they may know and understand what things they ought to do, and also may have grace and power fully to accomplish them. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you, all nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you. And men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We're now moving into a time of prayer, followed by a litany of healing. If you will please join me in prayer. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church, that we all may be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you, that your your name name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, that that there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake that our our works works may find find favor in your your sight. sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, that they they may be delivered from their distress. distress. Give to the departed eternal rest. Let Let light light perpetual perpetual shine shine upon them. them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May May we we also come come to share share in your your heavenly heavenly kingdom. kingdom. Let us name before God those for whom we offer our prayers. Lord, we offer this evening everyone who has commended themselves to our prayer list. Those who are sick, those who are recovering, those who will undergo procedures, those who are considering it. We lift them all up to you, Lord. God the Father, your will for all people is health and salvation. We We praise praise you and and thank thank you, you, O Lord. Lord. God the Son, you came that we might have life and might have it more abundantly. We praise praise you and thank you, you, O Lord. God the Holy Spirit, you make our bodies the temple of your presence. We praise praise you and thank thank you, you, O Lord. Lord. Holy Trinity, one God, in you we live and move and have our being. Praise, Praise you, you and thank, thank you, you, O Lord. Lord, grant your healing grace to all who are sick, injured, or disabled, that they may be made whole. Hear, Hear us, us, O Lord, Lord of life. life. Grant to all who seek your guidance and to all who are lonely, anxious, or despondent a knowledge of your will and an awareness of your presence. Hear us, yes, O Lord, Lord of life. life. Mend broken relationships and restore those in emotional distress to soundness of mind and serenity of spirit. Hear, Hear us, us, O Lord, Lord of, of life. life. Bless physicians, nurses, EMTs, social workers, physical therapists, occupational therapists, technicians, and everyone who ministers to the suffering. 
granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. Hear Hear us, us, O O Lord Lord of life. life. Grant dying peace and a holy death. And uphold by the grace and consolation of your Holy Spirit those who are bereaved. Hear Hear us, us, O O Lord Lord of life. life. Restore to wholeness whatever is broken by human sin in our lives, in our nation, and in the world. Hear Hear us, us, O O Lord Lord of life. You are the Lord who does wonders. You have declared your power among the peoples. With you, O Lord, is the well of life, and in your light we see light. Hear us, O Lord of life. Heal us and make us whole. Gracious God, we give you thanks for your beloved Jesus Christ, in whom you have shared the beauty and pain of human life. Look with compassion upon all for whom we pray this evening. And strengthen us to be your instruments of healing in the world by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our service continues on page 125 with the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. I now invite you into a time of prayer and reflection. I will be monitoring, I'll be looking at Facebook Live if you want to add a prayer and have me light a candle on your behalf. This evening I pray for the Tapia family on the passing of Robert. Lord, I pray that you be with Linda and her daughters and the family during this trying time. It's always hard to lose a loved one, Lord, but it's especially hard during this time of pandemic and social distancing. So we pray for them. Fill them with your Holy Spirit. Be a comfort and grace to them. evening I pray for Whitney so far from her parents who love her and uncertain of the medical condition that she is undergoing I pray that you be with her doctors as they try to figure out what's wrong and that they remedy it swiftly I pray that you be with Doug and Terry as they cannot be there that their prayers may be joined by our prayers in a surrounding comfortable wave of love engulfing Whitney Lord, we pray that you take away all malady and heal her body of all infirmity. We ask this in your Son, Jesus Christ, who is the ultimate healer. Lord,
Lord, this evening I pray for our camps and conferences in the Diocese of West Texas. This summer looks a whole lot different than normal summers. Lord, I give you thanks for their faithfulness in bringing camp in one form or another to families and students and children across our diocese. I pray that you continue to keep them safe in the good work that they are doing and that there, must, there may be fun and joy. Lord, I pray especially this evening for all of those who during this time are moving houses or moving out of state, or moving away, or moving any sort of transition. Transition is always hard, and Lord, it is super hard right now. So be with them in the heat as they move boxes, and be with them as they travel. Keep them safe on the road, and bring them safely to their home or to their new home. pray and give you thanks for the ministries of our church, for those that are meeting right now and those that are not, that are waiting for us to return to in person. I give you thanks for Project Hope, for the leadership, all the seniors that we serve. I give you thanks and pray for Good Samaritan Community Center. I give you thanks and pray for all the ways that our church reaches out to those around us, both near and far. Be with us. May we be reaching out with your hand, Lord. give you thanks for the gift of music, and especially our music ministries here at Holy Spirit. Still faithful, still strong, still meeting, the choir still meeting faithfully every Wednesday. I give you thanks for Gary and Bethany and Doug and all of those who make a joyful noise in this place. Lord, I ask you to continue to bless the Roberts household, keep them safe and healthy as Susanna's uh, work dictates her being exposed to COVID-19. I pray that you're with Jason and Jacob and Emma and all of those that love them. Keep them safe, Lord. And Lord, especially evening I give you thanks for all of those who have made this live stream possible for those who are streaming for those who have donated equipment and time and love and money and attention for those who take the time every week to show up to watch our live streams I give you thanks for all of them for this new ministry that we are doing proving that we might be socially distanced but nothing can keep us apart I give you thanks Lord Let us pray. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Make your presence known to us. Fill your servants with your love, peace, and grace so that we may go forth and spread your love to those around us. Keep us safe and heal us of our uh, affirmities, infirmities. Lift us up. Heal our hearts of darkness. And give us hearts of light alone. Lord, above all, be with us on the way. We ask this in your Son, Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Thank you for joining us for prayer this evening.